voters opted for change. George Latimer unseated incumbent Rob Astorino to become the next Westchester County executive with 57% of the vote. CBS News Tony Aiello has more on the race from White Plains. Hugs and pats on the back for Westchester's new county executive, who declared his victory was part of a Democratic wave. It's pretty clear that Westchester voters are not happy with what they see coming out of Donald Trump's Washington, and that's a big factor here. Latimer portrayed incumbent Rob Astorino as an out-of-touch, overly conservative backer of President Trump. Latimer survived an avalanche of negative ads focused on his unpaid parking tickets and taxes owed on a house his wife inherited. Astorino touted his eight years of success holding the line on county tax rates, but it wasn't enough. Serving the people of Westchester County where I have been, uh, where I was born and raised and I've spent my entire life uh, now raising my family uh, has been one of the greatest privileges of my life. Westchester is about a quality of life. It's about more than just how much you pay in taxes. Latimer says he'll follow the example he set when he served as county board chairman years ago and foster a bipartisan approach to county government. The outcome scrambles the Republican field for next year's governor's race, making it unlikely Rob Astorino will challenge Governor Cuomo for a second time. Cuomo's close associate Larry Schwartz was a main advisor to the Latimer campaign. The two men celebrated with a hug at election headquarters. In White Plains, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.